Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had just made it partway through this little test in the X8 facility. And we're just about done with it. But we're going to be running it a few more times because it gives us a lot of benefits doing that. So, that's what we're going to do. And I think I already explored this spot. Yeah, so... I have to go through here, I think. Down at the end of the hall is ball storage. For jocks who like balls. Like Richie Marcus. Did you hear me, Benson? Richie likes balls. Uh... Okay? That's, that's a, uh... That's a thing. <laughs> I don't know why he put so much emphasis on the he likes balls part. <laughs> I have an idea, but it's uh, it's kind of it's kind of a whole thing. <laughs> All right. Well then. Alright, um, whole list of things over here. Let's see, let's see what's in the desk. Nothing. Retrieve student records. Betsy Bright's records. Disciplinary record. Unexcused absences, 7. Disruptive behavior, 3. Smoking on school property, 11. Alrighty. Real bad girl. Betsy Bryce. Oh, that's a... I, my eyes just looked over that. It's a little early for me. Let's go into the ball storage. I have balls! Look at these. Basketball and everything. Look at that. And that's a dog coming over. Yep. Military cyber dog. And there we go. Ow! Right in my face. Oh, there you. There we go. Anything else? Yep. That that's all good. <sighs> okay. Still don't like doing this, but it's what the game forces me to do. It's in the Foot Locker. Uh, bottle caps. Okay. That'll work. That'll work. Now, we are done with this particular test. Yes. All right, now we have to go all the way back through the tunnels in the facility. Oh you got to the residential test. This is really Boros, by the way. Hello again. None of us thought you would get this far. Then why did you send me here? the fuck is with you people? Ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, is that my brain? No, it would have been through tubes. Okay, Big Chief. Magnum rounds. Alright. Take these. That That's someone else's brain. I don't know whose brain it is, but it's someone else's brain. Uh, wooden crate. Plasma grenade. I can sell that. I'll take those and surgical tubing. I can use that. All right. Uh, oh, some more stuff and wine. Ah, yes. Booze it up, baby. All right. Let's take that scrap metal. Uh, wonder glue and wrench. That'll work. That'll do me. Observatory terminal. Uh, the X-12 request for assistance. We've had a small issue with one of our Y-17 trauma harnesses. Yeah, there's a lot of issues with them. Sadly, a member of the X-12 research team choked on a buffalo gourd seed and died while working late last night. For some reason, his Y-17 trauma harness will not shut down. In fact, it has begun malfunctioning and causing the late Mr. Harris to attack other employees. Do you have any prototypes you could lend us as a means to stop it? Barb. Assistance granted. I'm sending you over the K9 
thousand cyber dog gun. It should do the trick. Let me know if you have any operational request uh, questions. And <laughs> sealed an X12. We've had another unfortunate occurrence. While attempting to destroy Mr. Harris's trauma harness, the disaster control team member carrying the gun slipped and fell, dropping the weapon. Unarmed, the team had to flee and seal off the lab. Unfortunately, the K-9000 Cyberdog gun prototype was sealed inside X-12. Smooth. You bunch of doofuses. Alright. Well, we'll go through here now. Uh. They're playing poker. That's a, uh, it's another thing with the Wild Wasteland perk, but the, I only just realized they have, like, cards in front of them and they have whiskey on the table. Oh, my God. That is awesome. <laughs> okay, let's take all this. And, oops, that had nothing. Uh, nope, nothing. Ooh, Mentats. Take those. Always take the mentats. Always take the drugs. You can sell them later. You don't have to use them. In fact, don't use them half the time. It's better if you don't. You just sell them to someone who's going to... Oh, okay. What am I saying? Don't listen to me. I'm an idiot. The residential test. Wasn't that shut down for some reason? You don't know what reason? Okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna take the, uh, cases. I don't remember. Protocol. Okay, let's, uh, take out the Protectron, then. Man, the Action Boy skill is actually really useful in that. Because now I can do a max of six shots in one go. That is useful as fuck. Alright. Take all this. That, okay. Oh, yes! My pet, Gabe! I'd forgotten about the old boy and the countless experiments I'd done on him back in his. Gabe? Gabe! Done on him? To have your favorite treat. Oh, Won't that be nice? Don't eat the visitor, boy. Don't, please. <laughs> um. What? How big of a threat can he be? Uh. If he's basically like the rest of the dogs here, how much of a threat can he be? Okay. Let's just get going. Gabe would bark and snarl and fight whenever anyone came to visit. That's not good. his legs with spare parts and fed him a steady diet of psycho dog chow. That makes it worse, I think, wouldn't it? Okay, a little bottom my buddy. Okay. Did he just completely whiff or did he just actually think that would hit me? His head landed in his ass. <laughs> oh, that is the first time I have ever seen that. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that's a, that's a thing. Let's see if we can make anything. Oh, weapon repair kit. Awesome. Oh, I do not have enough for all the duct tape I have. Speaking of which, let's pick up some more. And see if we can make any more. One more. It, I must be out of wrenches is what the problem is. Must be. Okay. Uh, bottle cap, pre little money. Uh, let's pick up these because I can always use those. Uh, oh, I missed the purified water. There we go. Um, 
I need to find wrenches because I want to make up more. They are always useful in it. Consolidate some of the weight in my pack. Uh, speaking of which, uh, let's make some of these and then make them into overcharge. There we go. That works. Okay. Let's pick up some dirty water too. Because I can eventually uh, mass purify four of them into something useful for me. Let's see if we can get any more wrenches before we leave this whole area. More duct tapes. That's that's not bad. Normally duct tape's hard to find. Now it's just like all over the place. Okay. This would be the way out, technically. Uh, first I want to go the other way, see what's down here, because I don't recall. Oh, this is the exit. Okay. But first, we have to do the uh, kennel thing. No, that's the, that's the kennel thing. This is the thing. Okay. I'm stupid. I Like I said, this is early in the morning. My brain is just kaput. Okay. <laughs> Instant headshot. Okay. Alright, let's get the rest of the bullets in here. How did the other one miss? Why do I keep missing? Ow. There you go. Take it. There you go. Down you go. Shit. Uh, take the proton axe. Cause why the fuck not? Um. Now I'm starting to know why I shouldn't have taken it. Because it's pretty damn heavy. Uh, throwing axe. Um, hmm. Let's maintain this with the varmint rifle that we picked up earlier. And... Let's maintain this with a recon armor helmet. And I should, we should probably have something to drink. How's my stats going? I haven't checked those in a while. H2O is really bad. Food can last me a little while longer. But food I need... Uh, water. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. And not a drop to drink. Water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink. There we go. Oh shit. You little bastard, you snuck up on me. And critical strike. I love those. And what's that you got? Uh 10 millimeter pistol. Okay. There we go. That's it. <laughs> Another proton axe. Yay! Alrighty. And another. There we go. Send these. Great. I'm stupid. <laughs> Take all these, this, and this. And I'm overweight again. But if I have myself some wine, I am good. But what's in here? Some more stuff. 10 millimeter pistol. I can eventually fix up my gun with all this. Oh, that's your head. I am sorry I put your brain in a bowl, boy. Oh, who's a good boy? You are. Uh, is this where Gabe is, then? Where's... Where's Gabe? Uh... Okay. Where is it? That's a big-ass doghouse, though. It's a really big ass doghouse. Okay. Alright, I'll take all these. Uh, dog and lobotomite splicing experiment holotape. Okay. Uh, take this. I think this is the same stuff that we saw. Oh, this is a different one. Shipping department unusual shipment. Dr. Richardson, we've just received the latest shipment of dogs for the CyberDog experiment process, but, well, 
Frankly, I think our supplier screwed us. <laughs> the animals must be basically feral. Every time we get close to the shipping kennel, they let out with the most god-awful hissing and... Well, rattling is the only way I can describe it. Please advise, should we open the kennels or just send them back? Um, please advise. So, at Dr. Richardson's request, we opened one of the kennels from our latest shipment. The dog inside, and I use that term very loosely, appeared to be suffering from a truly horrendous case of mange, and upon being released, it immediately attacked, killed, and attempted to swallow whole specialist acres. Holy shit. Luckily, the situation has, for now at least, contained itself, as SPC Acres was a very large man, and the creature has choked to death. <laughs> Does anyone know anything about the shipment? Please advise. Guess not. Department in lockdown. In light of the large number of fatalities due to the latest shipment of experimental test subjects, the shipping department is going into lockdown. I give you my personal assurance that as soon as this plague of monsters has been dealt with, I will work overtime to get your deliveries to you in a timely and efficient manner. As I am currently the only surviving member of the shipping department, however, there may still be some delays. Until then, Mr. K uh, Dr. Callis in X-13 has the pass card for the area. Skippy, sole survivor. <laughs> regarding shipping department lockdown. In our last supervisor meeting, we discussed the possible benefits of the small shipping accident. We, consider, we are considering studying the unexpected specimen's behavior by releasing them into our test area before removing them from the X-8 facility. The shipping department will remain in lockdown until a decision has been reached. And we can find the key for that so we can add that to the res the uh, what is it? Not residential. Uh, institutional testing. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Oh, I, I just realized I skipped over the money part. <laughs> and, yeah, I knew there was foot lockers around here. There's that. And there's turpentine. Shit. I thought that was actually something else. <laughs> okay. Time to get the fuck out of here. What? Oh. That is a... Uh, that is something. Alright. Time to head out of here once and for all. Alright. Around here. Around here. To the exit. Hmm. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Loading stuff in. Uh, Mr. Orderly MK3. Oh, wrench. Use that. Whoa! <laughs> the wrench got replaced with guts there for a second. That was the whole thing. Oh, and tats. And duct tape and scrap metal. God damn it. <laughs> I'm a dingle. I'm a dingus. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. My throat was starting to go, even though I'm slightly over my cold, from what I understand. <laughs> or at least I thought I was over my cold. Apparently not. Alright, I'm trying to figure out what I can eat. I can, might as well have, like, something with some water in it as well. But there's really not that much I have. Uh, oh yeah, the Geico Kebab. That'll work. Okay, cool. And, yeah, okay. Let's set this up for the... Yeah, there we go. Residential cyber dog guard test. The parameters for this test are currently incomplete. Beware of dog. Okay. Now, what I might have to do is head back to the sink and drop off some of my crap before I start doing this. Because this usually gives me a lot of stuff that I need. Uh, more than that, really. Usually. So, uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that before I start doing this test. Oh, that's a body. Um... But first, I should probably end the episode here. 
Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. Take a look at my Patreon down below in the description. Decide whether or not you want to support me in making more videos for you guys. Or not, it's completely up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games for you.